Horse and Buggy Produce. Howdy, this is Brett with Horse and Buggy Produce, telling you where your food comes from. And uh, today I'm back again uh, at the Martin Farm uh, with Denise Martin uh, in her uh, onion patch. And uh, occasionally I have the unenviable task of letting you know the uh, more somber side of agriculture and farming. Uh, they got hit by a big hailstorm. So I'll, I'll let Denise take it from here and tell you about what's going on with these onions. Well, there's Denise again. Howdy, Denise. How are y'all? Fine, fine. So what, what exactly happened? What, what happened weather-wise to this patch of onions? Well, the storm come in, and it, was so, it happened so quick we didn't have any time to cover them up or anything. And so now they've got holes in them, as you can tell. Well, that, so what, when did the storm hit? It hit yesterday afternoon, afternoon at about 3 o'clock and, and lasted till that at about 6 o'clock in the evening. But how long did it hail for? Well, at least 20 minutes, maybe even half an hour. Wow. And then it rained as well? Yes. It really got, hard? We got close to five inches of rain. Holy cow. So, so you know, last week we looked at these onions and they were beautiful. And now we'll kind of look at them and uh, they're pretty beat up. Show me exactly why. You, so what, what is your plan now? You've got, to, you've got to take all of them out, right? Yeah, because they've all got holes in them now. Show me what you mean. Right here. Okay, let me get in close. So that's the stalk. Yeah, and it's going to put, if it rains again, water's going to get down. Point, point right down to where you're talking about. Where will the water go? The water's going to go right down in through here and okay. go down to the bulb and rot the inside. Okay, of so it. it's going to go right in that tube. Yep. Right in that tube right there. Yes, so we got to take them all out and cut the tops off and lay them out in the barn and see if they dry. And if they don't, we'll just have to sell them as fast as possible. Okay, so you're harvesting all 15,000. Yes. And then you're gonna you're you're gonna take them up into the barn. Mm-hmm. And we'll go lay them out on slats and hay bed wagons to see if they dry out some of them. Okay. Okay. And if that works, how long can you hang on to them? We probably won't be able to hang on to them more than a month. Okay. All right. And then now, did you have some help out here harvesting all these, getting all these onions up? Yes, I did. How many, what, what happened? Did you get some friends and neighbors? Yep. We got all our friends and neighbors that were willing to come and help. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. So how much of it have you harvested already of the onions? About three quarters of it. Okay. All right. So, well, every bit of probably close to 10,000 or 11,000 of them already. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, um, are you are you kind of sad? Yeah, a little bit, but it's all right. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. I guess, well, how could it have been worse? You could have been out here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and get beamed on the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I notice you're not wearing, you're still not wearing any shoes. That, that's right. That's good, but there's no mud today. Well, that's all right. I feel like you're <laughs> All right. What do you say we go over and see mom and dad, and see what they're that up to? Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, let's go to the shed and we'll see what they're doing with the onions. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm in the shed uh, at the Martin uh, farm. And here behind me, you'll see all the onions that have been harvested already. I guess about two-thirds or three-quarters of them have been pulled out of the field already. And they're being stored here on these pallets in the shed here. And uh, then I'll show you what uh, Rosa and Charlie, Denise's mom and dad, are going are gonna to do with them. And they'll tell us what the plan is. Oh, and by the way, here's Barbara. She's a neighbor friend who's helping us. Say hi, Barbara. Hi. Howdy. There we go. So this, obviously... Rose is on the left and Charlie's on the right, <laughs> in case you were confused. And and you guys are now just doing what? We are trying to salvage what a little storm damaged. We hope to take the tops off yeah. and lay them on flat wagons in the barn and screens where they can dry and get the storm juice out of them. Uh, hopefully, we can sell most of them within three weeks. Uh, we hate to flood our own market by selling them all in one week. Right. So how long will they, so that you'll, will you put a fan on them or anything, or how will that just... Right now, we're laying them on single layers on the floors and on the wagons in the old hay mound. Okay. So it's nice and clean and dry. Right. If I think it gets too extremely hot, I may try to put a fan, but it will not be air conditioned. <laughs> that much I figured. 
I figured the barn would not be AC'd. Yeah, that'd be a nice barn to be in. And then, uh, you, how long? How many years have you been growing onions? Well, we've always liked to eat and cook onions, so we've grown <laughs> quite a few years. But, but for the wholesale market, this would be our fourth or fifth season, Rosa. Fourth, fifth. And you've never seen anything like this before. So well, we've seen hill damage, but a lot of times it's at somebody else's farm, not mine. Right. <laughs> this time I got the privilege right. of <laughs> Yeah. All right. So with any luck, these, these onions will be just fine. And uh, over the next few weeks, you'll be selling them. Yep. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for you. And... All you people that are seeing this, please know that I hope you are enjoying candy or red candy apples. <laughs> indeed, indeed. You can count on that. All right, thanks so much, you guys. You are quite welcome. All right, have a good evening. We'll talk to you soon. Yep. <laughs> Yeah.